Hey there tunes, Master Lubin and I'm up in here and welcome to um, a new video where I get to show off something of mine. I've got a bunch of lapis in my inventory. I have creeper spawn eggs, creeper skeleton and zombie spawn eggs. And also I have a couple other things here too, which uh which you'll get to see soon enough. Um, so, yeah. Actually, let me grab everything I need, and, uh, give me one second. I think I've got just about everything. Uh, I need a crafting table. I need a diamond. I need a simple bucket. And I think... Well, let, let me just look and, uh, oh, right here. Oh, no, never mind. I don't need that right now. So, uh, yeah. So, first off, what, what I'm going to do is I want to show off what this lapis armor is for. What this lapis is for, any, I mean. I already gave it away. Screw it. So, yeah. When you put together, like, all this stuff, You're going to get some neato armor. Like it's basically lapis armor. And it looks mm, looks kinda neat. Also, another recipe. You can get a special bucket. A special bucket of all things. And uh yeah. So for the last um piece of the of the lapis armor, the chest plate, I actually need to craft a lapis block. And uh, let me just grab all that. So now I do this, but the lapis block will go in place of another piece of lapis, and then you get the chest plate. So uh, I'm running a test client, so of course I have a different skin. Let me put this armor on, and uh, the chest plate in particular will give you speed 4 permanent. So it's basically like you get a permanent speed four bonus. And if I go off the screen, I'm probably going to lose my stuff. And uh, yeah. Oh, I should have given myself a furnace. And a little bit of coal. So, okay. Uh, actually, I'm just going to give myself a little bit more of that. So I can show you how that works. Myself a little bit of extra coal. And uh, yeah. So, wait. Okay, so I'm going to swap the thing out of here. And uh, I added a new ore. Limolite ore. This will probably make for a great storytelling element because limolite, um, like, currently it has no official use in this specific mod. Yes, it is a mod. Hence why I'm in a testing client because I am testing the... Uh, I'm testing the use of this. And, uh, yeah. So next up, we have a weird thing. Hang on, give me one second to, uh, build a little area where you'll get to see soon enough what is going on in this bucket of purple fluid. Basically, pie fluid. It looks a lot like a purple sponge. Here's what it looks like when you spill it. Yeah. That just happened. And uh, actually, that's what the special bucket is for. Give me one second. Well, shoot. So I'm just going to give it to myself. Because I'm just going to give this to myself so that you can see what it does. So when you use a special bucket... It leaves your inventory, and instead you have a pie bucket, pie filling bucket. But apparently, I accidentally messed up. Also, apparently you can swim in pie fluid, or pie filling. But, uh, yeah. One more thing I need to give myself. And you'll get to see what that thing is 
in my one. No, I messed up. And no. Okay, so that bucket apparently overwrites whatever block it touches. There we go. Got it. Got it. It's gone. Okay, so like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by me apparently replacing stuff. Take a pie filling bucket. Combine it with bread and you get a pie. Granted, the pie looks like it's literally an ingot in front of a purple slime ball. An ingot behind a purple slime ball. I couldn't really come up with any good way to fix that. So, yeah. Let me replace that. And also, let me go over here and replace that in particular. And uh, pie filling is actually pretty runny. So, yeah, that's why it went so fast. So now, uh, I'm going to build a quick arena because what I have next features a mob that um, if you've seen a little bit of my really early content, you may already know what this is. But the reason why I'm building a specific arena is so that the mob the, mo the specific mob is contained, and therefore, yeah. So, okay, so before we begin, let's spawn in a creeper. Actually, let me take me, let me take this chest plate off. That, the chest plate alone will give you a really gigantic speed bump. And yeah. So... I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Uh, oh, I need a torch. So I'm going to go in here and use torches in particular. What I'm going to do is I'm going to seal off the entire like arena I've just built and you'll get to see firsthand what happens and this involves a brand new mob so check it out the creeper is then magically swarmed by these little fuzzballs Now they are officially attacking this specific entity. He's actually pinned in the corner now that I think about it. Actually, if I go into game mode zero, the creeper will try to. Okay, he uh, blew them all up. But the creeper, since it's only programmed for like vanilla mobs, like, well, me. He actually, like, ignores the modded mobs. But just to give you another look at what they look like, let me go back to game mode one. Here it is in its, in its glory. And also, this specific entity does have some cool tricks to it. If you hold out an apple, it will follow you with maximum priority. Well, maybe max. But it does, like... It typically tends to follow players with apples. Holding an apple and then standing a little bit away... Mm, might not really matter too much. But eventually, they will come to you. See? Like that. I mean, you can feed them, and it gives them, like... Well, food. But I have yet to figure out how to make these tameable in particular. There is such... There is, like, a way for me to do it. Like, if I use just plain wolf AI. But then I don't want them to be hostile towards me in particular if I end up hitting one of them. And, uh, yeah. Oh, by the way. Let me go back over here. So I can show you what I'm doing. So... Limolite, yeah. Seems kind of neat. Uh, 
this is all the stuff that's currently in my mod. Uh, let me give myself a piece of Limolite ore. And I'll show you another neat feature. Which, actually, I need to fix. Oh, by the way. When you place Limolite, it actually has some luminosity. So you can actually, like, yeah. So, let me go into game mode zero. And although this is kind of broken at the moment, if you start punching at it, it's supposed to give you poison. It actually gives you poison. I may have to redo the thing, but yeah, you get what I mean. The pie filling is literally purple sponge texture. Yeah. That's what that feels like, doesn't it? Well, I just did that. I feel sorry for myself now. And, uh, yeah. So basically, you grab pie filling in a regular bucket if you want to just cart it around and be all cool and whatnot. If you use a special bucket, I don't know why it doesn't do it, just... I don't know why specifically it won't. Actually, a better question... Why won't it let me grab buckets of of pie filling? Because the special bucket is actually what you need to get the pie filling bucket for recipes and stuff. I'm trying to figure this out. Hang on. Okay, so never mind. So that's also broken, but, um, yeah. There is eventually going to be later stuff you can use with this. Wait, is he coming at- Is he literally coming after me? Ah, oh, he's angry! I don't even know how long the aggression lasts. Speaking of which, so, oh, okay, so apparently, so apparently when these guys get aggressive, they get aggressive. They're not supposed to attack players, so something is broken. Oh, and when you kill them, if you do happen to kill one, and that one just moved really far away, but uh, yeah, there is actually a good way to keep up with them. You can keep up with them, and you can run away like crazy if you have this specific piece of armor. Ooh, got him. So I guess they get aggressive against you. So I guess they get aggressive against you. Huh. Who knew? But, uh, yeah. Uh, there is one more block in my... There is one more block in my mod that I want to try out. Crap. Crap! Okay. So... The final block in my mod is kind of, eh, it's kind of meh. Wait, here. This is tombstone. You need a minimum of a stone pick to break this specific block. Weird, but true. 
that being said, here's what happens. Let me give myself a wooden pickaxe and then a stone pickaxe for comparison. So it breaks faster with a pickaxe, that much is true. But if you but it will break if you don't have a stone pickaxe or higher. Now watch what happens when I break it with the stone pick. You can actually pick it up. Also When you start to destroy a limolite ore block, make sure you've got an iron pick. It's one of those specific elements that need um, that need uh, limolite is one of those ores that specifically require iron or above. Of course, diamond picks can actually break it no problem, and uh, yeah. So I think that's really all there is. Oh wait, I just now realized I have hunger. So with hunger, I want to show you something in specific. It's supposed to give you health boost, but apparently it's an instantaneous effect. That being said, that covers, uh, I think that covers all of the stuff within my mod as of right now. So uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, review of my own mod, and um, yeah, all the stuff I've showed you is pretty cool, isn't it? So yeah, these little guys spawn, they're actually aggressive against creepers as you previously saw, but they also go after skeletons. And of course the skeleton starts attacking me. Those guys are freaking horrendous. Also, I probably should have mentioned. Yep, there we go. So apparently that Squeebo died and dropped his dirt. He does have a rare chance to do diamonds. That being said, that's really all there is to show for this video. I'm still trying to figure out why I can't get my special bucket to specifically pick up to pick up any uh, stuff. Actually, let me try one more time to use it. I'm going to give myself some pie filling. And this is actually the block itself, which is weird. And, uh, yeah. Let me grab the special bucket. I'm trying to get a hold of this source block. I see. What happens if I just throw away the other two buckets and try to grab, um... It, I think you have to have the source block specifically in order to collect. But apparently I can't. Apparently it doesn't work. But uh, it was supposed to be you would get the pie filling in the special bucket and then that would be used to craft the pie. It's basically three bread and a... Yeah, three bread and a bucket of pie filling. And actually, it would consume the bucket too. So, yeah. Anyways, I think that's it for everything. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you did. And bye!